My goodness, what a special, historic, and wonderful day. Such an answer to prayer and such a wonderful gift where words of thanks and appreciation don't seem adequate. The plan for this area of the building is to turn it into a shopping style emergency food pantry. Patrons and families can come in and pick the food that they're gonna take home instead of us picking it for them. That ensures that, that they can meet their own dietary guidelines. It provides a sense of dignity um, and some measure of control over the food that they're receiving. And, and it also provides some one-on-one -on -one time for our volunteers with the patrons to be able to talk to them about other needs they may have uh, so we can refer them out for other services. We will be installing a loading dock uh, for our 26-foot truck to be able to drop off pallets of food. We'll be installing double doors in the back of the building so that we can get food in and out of the building and a ramp so that our, our rescued food that we pick up from the grocery stores can get in and out of the building. We'll be removing the carpet from this room and epoxying the concrete floor underneath so that carts and pallet jacks uh, can move freely over the carpet or over the floor instead of the carpet. The kitchen area we're going to use for cooking classes and also for our volunteers to prep the fruits and vegetables that come in um, on a daily basis that are going to be given out to families. We'll be doing um, cooking classes, nutrition classes in that area and the area behind that kitchen will be our storage area for pallets of food. Currently our food is in a basement so we have to haul it up and down stairs. This will make it all one level so that we can stock everything quickly um, from a central location. We ask them to leave the pews in, in this old chapel section of the building because we'll use it for interfaith events. So the interfaith Thanksgiving event, um, interfaith Christmas events, and this will also be where patrons exit the food pantry. So we'll kind of wall it off when it's not being used as a, as a chapel, and then we'll, we'll have removable walls for when interfaith events come in. This lower section, and then there's an upstairs section, is all office space. And this will be used for other RCCM programs. So the FISH program, which is Friends in Service here, um, the Urban Farm program, that's the Happyville Farm. And, um, and we're gonna rent out some space to some other nonprofits. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints kind of swooped in and saved us. Um, we've needed a new space really for a long time, and this is just a dream come true, and, and we'll continue to meet the needs of the community for as long as we can.